Welcome to another edition of Cirque Insider. Today we're going to be interviewing Julia Kolosova from Humanity, a hoop aerial artist. Yeah, I'm excited to learn about hula hoops and aerial tricks. And can we finish this on the back in the corner? That is not so here we go, Julia Kolosova. <laughs> Today we're here with Julia Kolosova from Zumanity. I have the honor to uh, interview her today. She's one of my idols, so uh, we're going to get to uh, know you a little bit. All right. So can you start off and tell us where you were born? Well, originally I was born in Russia, in Siberia, and then I moved to Moscow. So pretty much I have an apartment there, but I've been traveling since... Uh, I was a baby because my parents were um, performers, mm -hmm. so I pretty much grew up in a circus. So I've been uh, always on the road, mm -hmm. different countries, hotels, apartments. <laughs> a gypsy. A gypsy, yeah. exactly. Circus gypsy. So your family came from, started in the circus? They, they both started um, in sports and they were champions, so then they both kind of ended up uh, coming to the circus and they met in a circus. So. Oh wow. Yeah. So I'm a second generation of, so I really had no choice of becoming a lawyer or something like that. <laughs> so what age did you start um, performing? What happened is my mother was working a Russian bar. It's an act with, I guess, a stick with two guys holding it on their shoulder and somebody standing in the middle of the bar and flipping upside down and stuff like this. And I've been traveling with them, and uh, when I turned two, I started practicing with uh, one of the partners from my mom, and then we created an act, uh, a hand balancing act. I also did a Russian bar as well, and we've been performing it till when I was 15, and then I, um, I moved away, and then I ended up creating an act, an aerial act, and. Um, started from there. And that was the first time you started doing aerial stuff? Yes. Oh wow. Yes. So with your acts that you were performing in the circus in Ringling, did you take any of those acts and compete with those outside of the circus, outside of performing? Since I made my own act, uh, an aerial act, um, I started uh, going to festivals. I did a Monte Carlo festival where I got Silver Clown and I've done um, uh, circus festival in Sweden, which is called Circus Princess, so I got a title there. And I've won several other festivals, so pretty much I've got my name going on, you know, after separating, you know, from a group act, I guess, and um, being on my own. Uh, Cirque, uh, saw, they saw me in uh, Monte Carlo Festival. Uh, one of the bosses came up to me, introduced herself, and uh, they were trying to contact me for a while for other shows that were opening up earlier before Zumanity started. How I ended up being in Zumanity is I was actually vacationing in Turkey. I had a contract which was not signed to go to Spain. And then I received a call from some of the people from Cirque 
and they offered me to come to Zumedity and I agreed to go, you know, to Cirque. And then the same day, in the evening, they called me, we need you to be in Moscow tomorrow. So it all happened really quick and um, I traveled four, four countries in two days oh, wow. with all the fittings and stuff. That's how I got in, and it was, uh, I guess, a week of rehearsing, and then I, I was there for the real premiere of wow. the show in here in, in uh, Las Vegas. Wow. So you've worked for a bunch of different companies, um, Ringling and a whole bunch of different circuses, probably throughout Russia and throughout the world. How, does, how is it different now working for Cirque du Soleil in comparison? I think it's it's... It's one of the best companies for circus performers to work in. Uh, and I think they make the greatest shows in circus um, because there's always a story in their shows hmm. and the characters and the acts are always sending a message to people. Like if they would go to a cinema and see a movie type of thing, you know, and in traditional circus, it's just pretty much you see performers doing tricks uh, close to the sport mm -hmm. type of thing and costumes and music, you know, added to all that. I guess that's the biggest difference where, like, in, in, in this show, in the Cirque du Soleil show. So um, what, would you, what would you say to somebody that looks up to you and wants to get into Cirque du Soleil. It's knowing what you want and, and sticking to your dream and not giving up. And uh, it's very hard right now because Cirque got so far and they've seen so much. You need to have great ideas to be able to present something that maybe they haven't seen yet. It'll take a lot of blood, sweat, tears, and but if you're ready for it, and you know, and that's what I've I've uh, went through, hard hard work, and and just be able to be as much as unique and different as possible in whatever genre you're trying to do. Well, it's been an honor, like I said again, to have you here, thank and thank you, you so much, much for your time and. Um, this is Julia Kolosova, and now we're going to go and try and uh, have Julia teach Willie some hula hoops. In the air. Yeah. Oh, ah, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Okay. All right. I'm here with Julia, and I'm totally stoked. What are we learning? Well, I'm going to try to teach you how to hula hoop on the floor first. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to teach you how to do some aerial tricks. I'm not me Sport. Okay, and then we're gonna try to combine them in the air. Cool hooping in the air. Sounds like a plan. So, we're gonna try to spin it on your waist, okay? The weight, the movement. I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> the movement that okay. I've seen earlier you were doing, which was. Right? No, I was stiff. I was doing it. That's not how you do it. Like a that's, not how, that's not how you do it. Not like it's a more close your legs, legs together, right? You have it on your waist and you're doing a wave movement, a circle like this. Okay? Let's see. You start from here. Start Which from are your left knee or right knee? I'm gonna go. That feels better. Okay, go. Okay. Okay. That wasn't waving so good. Not very Could it stay over? Was that horrible for a first timer? Yes. That was horrible? Yes. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna try to teach you some of the aerial uh, tricks. 
and then I'll try to have you be in that trick and spin one hoop okay. while you're in that trick. We can do this. So we're gonna try to lift you up in this position and see how well you'll be able to hold yourself okay. in here and not do that. So what you do is exactly straighten your legs, lean towards your arm. Lean yes. towards this way? Yeah, when, they, when they're going to lift you up okay. and kind of arch a little bit. Okay? okay. Let's do it. Arch like that? You run the, who's running the motor? Motor is running. Okay, which way do I lean? You lean towards your arm. Don't do that. Lean towards what? Your arm. Don't hold yourself oh, oh. Your arm, you chicken. Oh, there. Okay. Exactly. Go. Go. <laughs> Come on now! <laughs> 